Hello and welcome to another review by Robin the Reviewer. Today we are reviewing the Majority Audio Everest Dolby Soundbar, Subwoofer and Satellite Speakers. Firstly, let's look at the product positioning and target market. The Everest is at the top end of the soundbars that Majority Audio produce. Only the Sierra Plus and this product have surround capability and a separate subwoofer. It provides a 5.1 Dolby sound output with both the satellite speakers and subwoofer being wireless. The wireless functionality is taken a step further with the satellite speakers not needing a power supply cable due to their inbuilt rechargeable battery with up to eight hours capacity, making this quite a unique product. This makes it perfect for temporary installations or in places with few power sockets. It could also be used outside in good weather as power would only be needed for the soundbar and subwoofer which can be placed closer together, leaving the satellite speakers to run on their own rechargeable batteries. As the box is very large, I will not go through the whole unboxing process and instead we can see a few photos I took during the unboxing so that you can see how well packaged everything is. There are two separate main compartments in the outer box, one for the sound bar underneath and the other for the subwoofer and two additional boxes. One of these has the satellite speakers in it with the other containing all of the accessories. The satellite speakers come with heavy metal stands that twist onto the base of the speakers like so. Alternatively, they can be connected to the main sound bar but this is only really for charging and or storage. Wall spacer brackets are included along with some screws and fixings. These then allow the speakers to be hung on them like so. The satellites also come with their own power supplies, which are 5 volt adapters with micro USB plugs. If you're installing these speakers permanently, then you can leave the plugs connected and so the speakers are always charged. The subwoofer is well built with a clean finish and four thick rubber feet to help isolate it from the floor it stands on. There is a base port on the front, a cloth covered drive unit on the side with the power switch, status LED and DC power socket on the rear. This unit also links wirelessly to the soundbar but does need to be kept plugged into the mains with the supplied adapter. It is the same style of adapter that is also used for the soundbar and like all the other adapters has a decent length of cable to help with sighting the unit. However, the two similar adapters have different size plugs and different voltages, so be sure to use the correct one. The subwoofer uses the smaller plug which is an 18 volt adapter, while the soundbar uses the larger plug which is a 24 volt adapter. The soundbar has a very rounded design with flat elliptical end caps that can be removed to charge the satellite speakers. There are four rubberized buttons in the centre at the top of the unit. These provide control over power, source, navigation, next and previous, and volume up and down. The base of the unit has rubber feet at both ends for sitting on a surface. At the rear of the unit, there are wall mounted brackets at both ends with recessed connection sockets in the middle of the back. Here there are connections for DC power, line in, left and right RCA sockets, augs in, 3.5mm socket, optical, USB and HDMI with arc functionality. The soundbar also boasts Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. Line and aux cables are supplied in the box as well as the power supply, but HDMI and optical cables must be purchased separately. The recessing is quite deep, so this makes things easier when choosing cables. The caps on each end of the soundbar can be twisted off to reveal charging sockets for the satellite speakers. These can be pushed in and twisted to initiate charging. There is a white LED text display behind the middle of the grill, which displays a brief scrolling indication of the selected mode. As well as the buttons on top of the soundbar, the system can also be controlled from the very comprehensive remote control. This has independent power controls for the soundbar and satellite speakers. 
As well as the usual controls for source and navigation, there are additional controls to adjust the volume controls independently for the front, center, sub and surround levels. There are various controls for adjusting the equalization, either through the movie, music and news modes or the treble and bass controls. The included instruction manual is very comprehensive and includes sections on all input modes as well as installing the system initially. A digital version of the manual, including other languages, is also available online via the majority website. There is a flyer reminding you about registering online to get the extended three year warranty, so don't forget to do that. The setup process is well described in the user guide and is pretty much a case of plugging in and turning on. There should be no need for manual pairing of the speakers, but there are instructions in the manual should you encounter any problems. I've had this connected up to a Samsung TV in the living room as well as to a laptop in my last studio and tested with both Spotify music sources and movies with surround soundtracks. The sound from the satellite speakers does give a very convincing and immersive surround effect while the sub provides a solid deep sound that works best on movies. I've also tested this with Spotify music from a mobile phone using the Bluetooth connectivity. While using the Bluetooth mode, tracks can be navigated using the remote control or the controls on top of the soundbar. The three EQ modes do create different sounds, as do the treble and bass controls, both of which have a more dramatic effect on the sound. In summary, this is a very capable soundbar in a limited category of soundbars with satellite speakers at a fraction of the price of the more mainstream brands. The ability to use the satellite speakers without them being plugged in is a great feature, especially in many homes where sockets are not within reach. The option to warm out the bar or use it on a surface also gives more options for placement and the sub rounds off the rich and immersive soundstage with a strong deep sound. The remote rounds off the system with a great control over all features and parameters. Add in the backup of a three year warranty, it is a package well worth considering over the bigger brands. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.